Hi, today we're taking a look inside the M1 Garand factory. This is 8620 steel, cold and inert. Under thousands of pounds of pressure, the Incan 8620 steel momentarily liquefies, flowing into the die that will shape the M1 Garand receiver. The hardened carbide meets the forging, shearing away the black fire scale to reveal the pristine steel beneath. A testament to violent precision, the cutting head carves the M1 Garand receiver, the heat-tempered colors of the swarf a signature of its creation. Under harsh industrial light, the gun drill spins, creating a perfect void in the monolithic steel. This borescope view reveals the hypnotic spiral of the M1 Garand's barrel, a testament to the cold precision of 1940s American engine. Part of the M1 Garand, the receiver, meticulously machined from 8620 steel. This granular texture, microscopic peaks and valleys etched by fine abrasive media, is key to the parkerizing process. the process of parkerization. The steel reacts with the acids, creating the durable, corrosion-resistant finish required by the Ordnance Department. The incandescent glow immediately vaporizes the moisture. This violent reaction ensures the durable, chalky, pale green.
The deep gray-green finish is the result of the parkerizing process, a vital step in preparing the M1 Garand for service. The dense fibers of the American walnut reveal a chaotic map of history. The American walnut stock of the M1 Garand required meticulous finishing, a process that transformed the raw timber into a satin-smooth plain. Saturated with linseed oil, the holographic chatoyancy of the American walnut is revealed, a testament to meticulous craftsmanship. The trigger group assembly is carefully guided into the American walnut stock, locking firmly into place. M1 Garand, resting here in the quiet of the arsenal, was the bedrock of the American infantryman.